Ray joining us now with the latest path of Delta. Yeah, Delta's uh, got hurricane warnings up for the Gulf Coast. By the way, that's where the video was shot in Cancun. The storm came right over there. And you can see a pretty uh, storm taking up a chunk of central uh, Gulf of Mexico. So there's your current position, a Category 2 storm with... 100 mile per hour winds moving northwest at 15 and as it moves it might become a category three storm today back to a two as it comes ashore sometime tomorrow afternoon unfortunately this is the same area where laura hit can you believe that where laura hit so they're going through the replay again the storm will kind of wash itself out and just die out over Mississippi. So that's it. That's the last the hurricane center is going to follow it. That low is unlike Laura, which had much stronger strength and had more of a flow to the east than that low held together and came over us. That is not happening here. As a matter of fact, when you look at this forecast map uh, that I'm showing you this model, these are lines of equal pressure. So you can kind of get the idea. It's almost like a topographic map. There's a valley of air right there. That's where the low is. That is uh, Delta. And you can watch it kind of weaken. You see how it opens up? This is Saturday. We could have a couple showers our way, but the bulk of the rain is definitely well to the west of us. So don't expect anything major on Saturday or Sunday either, because look what happens. That low opens up. That's what we call opening up a low where it's not circular anymore. And as a matter of fact, as we move, there'll be showers for us. That's an actual cold front that's trying to move down, uh, and that low is long gone. So rainfall amounts you see in this darker green area up to an inch. This is for Sunday and Monday with the showers. A little more in the mountains, but nothing that we can't handle, nothing to worry about.